What up, what up? Man, I think this is the first time I've had the pleasure of viewing one of your videos. Uh, one of my colleagues, the Phantom UFC fan, he speaks very highly of you. I see you got a very good production on your channel. And this is a very good topic, very good discussion. And it's like, I thought you all, you all made some very good points. So, I think, I think I'll watch this a few more times or something, but... Oof, man, referee stoppages. This is a very controversial topic. Uh, so many people have so many views on it. Um, let me see. As far as I'm concerned, I'm of the opinion that um, an early stoppage is much, 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 much better than a late stoppage. That's what I'd rather see because I think uh, I think the ref's job out there, he's to ensure fighter safety. Um, the, these, getting these guys out of there in one piece, especially as how violent and um, how crazy mixed martial arts can be, I think uh, that's the paramount concern of all referees. I think that's uh, what I like to see. I want, to, I want a good fight. But I want uh, both guys to be out of there as unharmed as possible, considering just how crazy and violent the sport is. And I think, uh, given that, on the whole, the referees do a pretty good job of getting everybody out of there. Um, of course, there are bad examples or something. I think uh, one thing that really flies out at me is probably an early stoppage would be, um, let me see, the first Aaron Riley versus Shane Nelson fight. I think that was at UFC 96, was it? Not sure, but um, and that one, Aaron caught a good shot or something. Got Aaron got a good shot, got knocked to the ground. He's his face, you know, his eyes were still in the fight. You know, sometimes you catch a good shot, get knocked down, and um, Shane Nelson came in to pounce, and you know, Aaron Riley was working his way back in the guard. He at one point didn't go, not at one point did he go limp. You know, he didn't show to be really seriously hurt at all. But the ref came in and just stopped the fight. I thought that was a pretty bad stoppage. You know, um, as far as, you know, I think y'all brought up the Johnny Hendricks fight. I saw that fight. I looked at it a couple times. I probably have to look at it again or something. But my basic understanding of that fight was when I was watching Amir, uh, he took some good shots and dropped to the ground, you know, got down on all fours. He didn't turtle up. He didn't defend himself. He was just down there on all fours, you know, probably thinking about his first girlfriend or whatever. Um, and Johnny Hendricks, he pounced. You know, he's kind of did some, like, grazing shots to the back of the head. You know, nothing really hard, but, you know, nothing really all that legal either. <laughs> but I think uh, I defend that stoppage because um, Amir clearly was hurt. He wasn't defending himself. And I think when he stopped, he was getting back up or something, but he wasn't fighting back up. I don't think he really knew where he was at the time. So I really defended that stop of Regliata, he's has a very tough reputation, you know, so he's been in some pretty bad ones. He's allowed a lot of bad things to happen sometimes. He's shown, he's had some really incompetent, you know, moments. But I think that was a good stoppage on his part. I think uh, Amir was, the ground and pound wasn't hurting him. I don't think so. But I think he was hurt. He was defenseless for that second or for those couple seconds he was down. And I think the ref was justified in stopping it. It, it could have been a case for letting it go, but I think Amir was out. I think he was really done in that particular case. Um, as I said before, I think there are a lot more late stoppages than early stoppages. I think that's the real problem, I think, with a lot of refs. And it's something I've seen in, like, uh, almost exclusively with Steve Mazzagatti or something. But I could pick on Steve Mazzagatti all day. I think probably the worst stoppage I've ever seen, you probably have to give it to um Eve Levine stoppage of the Matt Brown and Pete Cell fight. No, that was uh, USC '96, was it? I uh, um, let me see. The, first, the fight first started. Uh, Matt Brown got some good shots on him. Then he just really clocked Cell really hard, you know, knocking him down. And um, before he could go in and finish the fight, you know, um, E. Levine stepped in, you know, physically detained him, prevented him from going for the pounce and stopped the fight. Then Matt Sell got back, or not Matt Sell, <laughs> Pete Sell, he got back up, and, you know, and um, E. Levine, for some crazy reason, decided to restart the fight. I personally think if you stop the fight the first time, it's a horrible thing to do to the guy you prevented from finishing than to make him fight again. I mean, if, if bad stops happen, but if you stop the fight, you got to stop the fight. You can't, 
I mean, that's a total fight contamination in my book. And, you know, and even then, when the fight started again, Pete Cell was still completely out from the first shot. You know, even though he got back up, he still wasn't in it, and he kept taking a whole lot of unprotected shots. And Eve Levine just refused to finish the fight. I mean, uh, Matt Brown is, like, beating the guy up. You don't want to kill the guy, but at the same time, you know, what do you have to do to win? It was a very confusing situation for the fighters, or for at least Matt Brown. Um, Pete Sell was already confused from the first shot, and I think uh, Eve Levine did a horrible job. It was, com it was the worst job I've ever seen by any ref. And, um... I think that is a, probably a, an example, a worse example than probably um, any of y'all given, because I think it really resulted, it could really result in someone getting hurt or Matt Brown getting cheated out of an opportunity of a big win, you know. And I think uh, that's what refs are to do to ensure fighter safety and to make sure everything's fair. And uh, Evelyn did a horrible job in that one. But besides that, um, Evelyn does a pretty good job. A lot of people complain about his, uh, about his decision on the, um, what you call, who's that guy? He was supposed to be the next Anderson Silva. I'm not messing with him, I'm just having trouble remembering his name. Um, Filipino assassin, whatever, it's coming to me, but in his fight, he got um, knocked down pretty hard. Uh, even if he was still kind of in and out, he says he didn't want to get hit by, the, by his opponent or whatever, but I thought that was a good stoppage. He was out. You know, there's been a lot of close ones, like Josh Koscheck versus Paulo Tiago. I think uh, Josh Koscheck was clearly knocked out. He, get, he came back quick, but he was knocked out. He was unconscious. Um, same thing with Carl Parisian against uh, Tiago Alves. Same thing with BJ Penn versus you know Sean Shirk. That knee put him out. And, you know we could go on and on. We can second guess the refs all you want, and you know you weren't really bashing the referee. He was very respectful, you know. But how can you improve the thing? I'm not sure. I think. Probably um, um, just a consistent training of referees. You know, I know all referees have different styles, but I think probably a better thing is a uniform objective. Is it to give the referee? Is it to give the fighters a chance to come back? Is it to totally protect their safety? Are uh, there certain situ? You know, certain situations I think should have a hard line. You know, rules as far as stoppage and an understanding with the fighters. Um, the multiple refs thing, I think that's a that really isn't feasible for mixed martial arts or combat sports like that. Um, other sports have um, you know multiple refs because there's hundreds of feet, you know, as far as you know field, you know, so many, so much area for them to cover. In like baseball, you know, basketball and football, you know, the feet, you know, the field, the courts and the diamonds and everything. Those are just way too much for one man to cover by himself. And also way too many people. There's like 10, 15, 20 people or something at one time. And, you know, you can't cover that with one man. Here's just one octagon, you know, just a small cage or ring area. And it's just two guys going on. One guy has to do that job. If uh, I mean, if a referee stops the fight, another guy can't come in and restart the fight. It's not fair to the stoppage. It's not, it's not fair to the guy who was, you know, winning the fight. Only to have you know be declared the winner, and then told he has to go again. I mean, it's uh, um, what we have right now. It's not perfect. It'll probably never be perfect. It can be tweaked and everything. But um, I think uh, what we have right now, as far as what we're going on, refs. I think it's all together a very, very good you know system we got going on as far as protecting the fighters. Of course, everything can always be improved. Uh, once again, it's a very good video, very good channel. I've just uh, subscribed to it. You know, I'll definitely be checking on uh, a lot more of your videos. You know, thanks for your contribution. Thanks for your insight. You know, I'll see you around. All right.